Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna to talk about the book that I have been looking for and I might have found it. So stochastic calculus is one of those, or I guess stochastic processes, stochastic you know, applications for finance. It's one of those things I'm always looking for the undergrad version, right? You have John C. Hall's book and I have a copy back there and eh, it's okay. It's more just high level business application, some hand wavy notation. Um, it's not really my favorite book. I think it, it's definitely an undergraduate level book. It does some basic primers. It's just not my favorite book. I don't think it's a very good book to get going off of, especially when you start to think about the other books that you typically use within a financial engineering program. And I have a stack here we can talk about. So there's the blue and yellow books. That's what we always call them. They're by Stephen Shreve. Um, these are kind of the base books that every program should be using, is using at a graduate level. Uh, again, you have Stochastic Calculus for Finance One, which is gonna be the binomial asset pricing portion. Um, and then we also have the second one, which is the continuous time version. Um, they're very, very specific to finance. Uh, they get into the weeds a bit, but I feel like they get into the weeds to the point where it's confusing why you're in the weeds and they never come clear out of the weeds. Um, now, again, if you have a stronger math background, you have a lot more math, it's easier to connect those sorts of dots here. Um, the other book I like, which is going to be Introduction to Stochastic Calculus, this is by Clevin Air. Uh, I have a book review on this as well. And hint, hint, um, there's a companion book. And I might be doing a book review on this. Um, so he just sent me a copy and said, hey, you know, I even got a little bit of writing in the book uh, to me. Uh, he wrote in the copy and said, hey, uh, I don't expect anything. Please no book review or whatever. Like, don't worry about it. I just would love to have for you to have this, you know, companion book to the first book you have. This might be a book review in the future. Uh, it's not super thick, but these books are... Again, they're, they're quite technical. So if you're getting into these sorts of books here, these are very math heavy. Um, but these are more like what I would view as graduate level, maybe the very, very end of your undergrad level. Uh, these are good books. The reason I like these ones, uh, I think Clevin has done an amazing job at hitting the core foundational principles. And then at the end of the book, it's here are some examples in biology. Here are some examples in finance. I think these do a little bit more mathy approach. Again, you know, Stephen Shreves is also still a phenomenal book for the quant finance space here, um, but it, I think it's too focused on derivative pricing, um, kind of that aspect of it here. Now, there are other books as well. So this is Arbitrage Theory and Continuous Time by Bjork. This is also used by Michigan's program back in like 2012 when I was there. Um, program no longer exists. Another interesting book, but I felt that one was really applied. Again, it's kind of missing like the fundamental feeling of stochastic calculus. And I know if you are a grad student out there or an undergrad, perhaps, I don't know, undergrad quant financing is a whole new thing. Right? It wasn't around when I was, you know, that age. Um, but when we get into the nitty gritty parts of stochastic calculus, it's hard, it's messy. Um, it's probability theory being applied to, you know, calculus. And so it's this uncertain thing being married to this very certain thing. And I don't know. Stochastic processes and stochastic calculus is kind of a messy approach. Um, but I was on LinkedIn and Avishak, I think it's how you pronounce his name's apology if I mispronounce that, uh, Nag. So posted on LinkedIn, you know, I have this new book coming out, Stochastic Finance with Python. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of cool, right? It's, you know, stochastic finance and it has Python. Like if you guys notice, none of these books have code. Um, I do have another book, I believe, um, a computational finance book that has some Python code in it, but this is just stochastic finance. And so I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. And it's not just derivative pricing. So I went and I messaged him on LinkedIn and I was like, hey, I'd love to get a copy of this book. Uh, I do book reviews as well, but I really, you know, just would like to read the book. Uh, a big thank you for him. He said, yeah, no problem. I'll just send you a book. Uh, and again, he wrote a little note to me and sent me the book. And I was like, you know, really excited tracking this on DHL. Uh, it got shipped all the way here from India. Um, and so I got the book and I read the book and I've gone through different parts of the book and I've ran some code. And I can tell you, I think this is the perfect book that is missing the, the pieces the other books have here. So this book fills, I think, like the undergrad application or the very beginning of grad school, especially if you're not coming from finance, especially if you don't have... Uh, more of the theoretical background and grounding in this book. This book, I think, does an amazing job at providing 
kind of the intuition behind it. It gives you kind of the feeling. You're not going to get off into the weeds and be driving out and doing proofs of Ito's lemma and going through that whole thing. Um, but it gives you enough code and it gives you enough actual examples that you can kind of get your hands dirty with it. And I feel like you do get a good intuition of what is happening um, at a good level without being too financy or being too mathy. I think it fits that perfect middle ground that I have been looking for here. So to kind of go over the basics here, I just want to kind of lay out how the book is laid out because I think the layout is important to textbooks to look at. Again, this is a perfect example of going through like the majority of the textbook and then you can kind of jump to the chapters you need. I always like to go from beginning to end, but uh, it has an introduction on what is quant finance, why stochastic, um, numerical implementation here in the introduction chapter. Now, again, there are different sections. So part one is foundations. So that's going to be the introduction. Then chapter two is finance basics and data sources. Chapter three is probability. Again, I think the probability portion here is very brief. Uh, it kind of gets you to the point. I hope this book in general, it's not a solution to learn all of stochastic processes for finance or stochastic calculus or stochastic applications. It's a perfect book to kind of get running and then realize you know nothing. And so you look at the book, you read the book, and then you go, oh, I need to go look up these other topics. So hit internet for that or start to get a more advanced book and then start to fill in those gaps. But this gets you up and running. At least this is what I feel in my opinion from reading this and being in industry. Um, chapter four is simulations. Chapter five is stochastic processes. Um, and that is going to be the part one uh the part one foundations, part two is going to be basic asset pricing models. You have to like diffusion models, jump models. And then part three is going to be uh, financial options and modeling. So course options and Black-Scholes, PDE, finite difference and Black-Scholes model. I've used those before uh, in practice. And then part five here is going to be portfolios. And then that last portion is just based on portfolio optimization here. So it does a great job here is that it brings in different issues, different processes. Um, when I went through different topics, it talks about like different approaches and why you would use them and talks a little bit about the struggle and this might not be the best application. So there's like a parametric parts, like when you start to get um, back into um, some of the, I think it's the simulations processes where you go through you know, like the inverse transform method. And then it talks about that, but then you kind of jump into more like the Monte Carlo simulations, explaining the strengths and weaknesses. Um, I also like the stats part portion, talking about, uh, again, Bayesian statistics, looking at that, trying to incorporate the expert opinion into the model. I'm not a big fan of Bayesian, if you guys aren't familiar with uh, my work here. Um, but at least it gives you some grounding. It gives you some understanding. And then it talks about even going back through like using historic data and fitting it. And then why you are going to have issues, right? That's the real world. You're going to have these sorts of issues. And it kind of provides this nice, simple tool case, little tool belt of things to look at and work on. The book does include some mathematics. So I think, you know, they didn't just like wave this out the window and do traditional finance. So you can see there's some basic math. The other portion that I thought I really enjoyed, so I'm going to give the code here. I think it was done very, very, very well. Um, so let me just put a caveat here. I absolutely hate working in Python because most people just like garbage mold together packages and pieces and nothing works the way it's supposed to and not understands it. This book is not like that. Uh, this book is obviously written by a computer scientist. I love the layout. Um, they lay out, you know, actual functions. They write the function and they define, so DEF define, and then you set the function out and they write and walk through the function. Uh, let me guys show you guys just a little bit about this. So I'm hoping you guys can see this here. Simple laid out functions, but the code is written well. Um, I think it helps you kind of see that you can simplify things down. You can write them, you can test them, you can play with them. Again, uh, it's not going to get into like, you know, building out entire programs and this whole complexity of doing trading or anything. But real quant finance is not about building the tool at the end and doing the trading part. That's for traders, business people, um, that's for quant devs doing the implementation. This has, I think, the good pieces to get you going to understand the basics and the fundamentals with this book here. So I give this book four and a half out of five stars. Uh, the only critique I would have for the book is sometimes I think the brevity, which is in much an advantage of the book, which makes it well, I think it helps gain the intuition. Sometimes I read and I'm like, Ugh. There's like a half star worth of, I wish there was a, just a little bit more 
insight, a little bit more depth on some of the topics. And this is coming from a practitioner. So this I think is perfect for undergrads for getting started. Of course, you're going to have to, you know, add other books as you get going down this rabbit hole. Uh, but there's always like just a little bit of like if they could just provide a little more detail, um, I think that would be helpful. Other key notes from this book, though, to wrap this up here with the four and a half star review, which is an amazing review. You guys. I don't <laughs> I hardly ever give books five stars. Um, it does have a nice index in the back so you can look things up quickly. Uh, there's also a nice bibliography written in the back, so it references other papers and textbooks. Um, again, I think this is an excellent book. This is, I think, the only book I have seen that has been a great foundational starter to get you going. And all those bibliography references in the back is going to be where you highlight in the book and you go, ooh, there's not a quite enough information on this topic for me to do something. Highlight it, go get that book, look up a paper, and then you can really put the ideas together. But I do feel like this is the missing piece. So many of you asked me for an you know, amazing curriculum. This is one of those books I just, I can't find. I, it's hard for me to connect undergrad level education to a graduate level um, without me telling you, take PDEs, ODE, real analysis, like, you know, take some graph theory, take some other interesting mathematics, really get to thinking about these problems. Um, and then be like, well, how do you connect those? And that piece is the hard part. This is, I think, one of those books that has been missing in the marketplace. So four and a half out of five stars. I highly recommend it. Um, I will put a link below. Again, it's one of my affiliate links for Amazon. Costs you nothing extra, um, but it does kind of just give back to the channel here. Amazon says, hey, thanks for selling books or whatnot. Uh, but it does help the channel out so we can do more book reviews like this. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.